evolved in about 2003 to abstract expressionist and every painting I do I try to involve my thoughts, my emotions, what's going on in my life, what's happened in the past, what's, what I plan for in the future and sometimes it's incorporated by texture or color um, and sometimes they're subject matter, sometimes they're not but um, I bounce around quite a bit and I, I enjoy being able to do that because I can relate to more people that way. The story I don't tell very often, I retired, I was playing for the Sacramento Kings, it was my last year at NBA, and um, there was this song that, you know, I, I heard it at church, and I kept hearing it over and over, and it was called Moving Forward, and I was already on the fence of how much longer I wanted to play. I'm driving around Sacramento, I have to practice every day, and to practice every day, listen to this song over and over and over and over again, and so, um, I remember calling my wife, and I said, I think I'm going to retire from basketball, and I was walking in downtown Sacramento. And she said, what? I said, I think I'm done. And she was like, well, whatever you want to do, I want yeah. you. I called my dad. He thought I was losing my mind. I called my agent. He thought I was losing my <laughs> mind. And, um, and then the week, the next week, I went to Sacramento. We talked about it. I, just, I retired. Who are some of your artistic idols? Um, I, number one, uh, Pablo Picasso. And he's probably the majority. Um, number two for me would be Jackson Pollock. I have a list. <laughs> Number three <laughs> would be Mark, Mark Rothko, oh. who I love his color oh. use. Um, Vasily Kanetsky oh. is another one. And my most modern day, which you probably starting to see a little bit over here, is uh, Banksy. So that's kind of derived this one. Yeah, definitely. It's derived from him. With like, uh, so Banksy is a new boss guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right, that's kind of street art, tag and stuff, mm -hmm. anonymously, blah, blah, blah. That was Basquiat back in the day. Well, basically, that new guy. So, Basquiat style was, you take all these little, like, little alien guy, mm -hmm. the all, those are all stencils. So, it's a collaboration between Basquiat and Banksy. It's on the same canvas. Mm -hmm. So, it's been here for almost four months now. Mm -hmm. I come over and I'm like, oh, <laughs> Like when will it be done? I don't think it's really done. So why'd you pick up Oklahoma then? Uh, there's a couple of reasons. One, I, you know, we love being we love here. My wife is Portland, Oregon, came to Oklahoma to play soccer, mm -hmm. uh, Oklahoma State. And then I'm from Texas and I came to play basketball. We played here on two different NBAs, you know, occasions with the Thunder and, and uh, the Hornets. Um, and then we love the people. We had tons of friends and families that, you know, community that we had really related to over those times of playing. And then from a business standpoint, um, Oklahoma was, I mean, it was rising. It was all about the growth and the team was here. And so for us, we thought that we had some ideas that were, you know, different than anybody was doing at the time. Mm -hmm. um, so why not come to a place that we care about and we love and try to incorporate those and, and be part of kind of the foundation of the community in art and in health and fitness, and that's what we decided to do. But the scene in general, is just there's a lot of very, very talented people, and I've had a very fortunate opportunity to travel all over the world and experience art because I love it that much. And, uh, and there's people here that are just as good as any place I've ever seen. London, Asia, Spain, Italy, um, New York, LA, Miami, you know, Pacific Northwest, it doesn't matter. There's people here that are just as talented as any artist I've ever seen. Um, which I think is really cool. Yes.